Motherwell had goalkeeper Stevie Woods back for the first time since the middle of October, while United's veteran defender Morris Malpass returned to captain the side after recovering from knee surgery. And both men were in the thick of the action early on. At the other end, Alan Combe created problems for himself when he almost gifted Pat Nevin a belated Christmas present with this poor pass. But the United keeper recovered in time to save his embarrassment. The severe weather was playing its part, and while the flags were almost horizontal, the players stood up to the elements. But a misplaced pass from Tony Thomas provided United with their best scoring chance of the first half, and Billy Dodge is never slow to try and seize the opportunity. The Scotland striker brought out the best in Stevie Woods from this effort. Motherwell were looking to maintain their impressive record of having lost only one of their last nine home games. Lee McCulloch was putting in a spirited shift up front for Well, while Jason DeVos was sticking close to him, too close on these occasions for the liking of the referee. A deflection off the defensive wall kept out Jed Brannan's free kick, and in the last piece of action of the first half, Tony Thomas failed to get this header on target. After the break, Dodge was again tormenting the home defence. Alex Mathie's powerful running creating this chance. But only the double Woods combination, that is keeper and post, kept out Dodge's strike. But in the 55th minute, Motherwell made the breakthrough. Darren Patterson's handball gave the home side a free kick some 20 yards out. An upstep set-piece specialist, Stephen McMillan. His creative left foot again proving lethal for his second goal of the season. Within two minutes, the Fur Park men increased their lead when Jed Brannan latched onto John Spencer's cross. It was Brannan's first goal for Motherwell since his £350,000 transfer from Manchester City two months ago. Having won their last three encounters at home to United, Motherwell were now in course to add to their tally, and the outstanding Simo Valakari came close to adding a third. It was a fine stop from Combe, with Magnus Skolmark completing the clearance. United kept plugging away right to the end, but once again the woodwork was to come to Motherwell's rescue from Darren Patterson's shot. That summed up a frustrating afternoon for United boss Paul Sturrock, but for Billy Davis it's another three points and further progress. It's going very well, but we have to start to win games away from home. We have to start to get results there, and uh, we've made the point to the players that it's important that we go on a roll. Uh, it's important that we go to places like Aberdeen and try and get points there. And if we can do that, then that'll certainly uh, push us in a good stage. You know? How difficult was it out there? Believe me, it's, it's a lot harder than it looked. No, it, it was just a lot. Really, the ball was flying everywhere. You're trying to pass easy balls, and they, they were going everywhere. It's just, it was really hard. But as I say, we got on with it. Another three very good points uh, for Motherwell. And it seems that whoever you are, it's hard to win away from home in the, in the Premier League, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Mm. Uh, and uh, I do think, I, I'm not quite sure about this, but I don't think Motherwell have won this year away from home. Uh, but, you know, Billy Davis has come in and done a great job for them. And they, you know, they're going to Aberdeen, who's certainly hit good form. Mm. So it could turn out to be a very bad 1998. But at least the home <laughs> form's picked up and mm. they're, they're doing quite a lot to save themselves from, from going down. Yeah. Two outstanding goals there, actually, weren't they? The, the first free kick maybe owed a little bit to the to the win, but what a, a great strike by Steve McMillan. Yeah, he's, he scored a great one recently there. I, I was at the game against Dundee. He fired one in. That's in the other corner this time. Superb. I think it definitely did. Uh, the wind just caught it there a little bit. But nevertheless, great skill to put it in. Good header as well. Jed Brands, he stepped onto that really. He's not had to uh, jump, he's not under any pressure, and he's headed mm. that away well. But, uh, you know, the goals uh, were obviously important, and at least they were good goals. Mm. But, uh, I mean, Jed Brands talking about the game there, I mean, obviously a bit of a lottery at Motherwell as well. Once again, the weather conditions spoiling the match. Yeah, and we're going to have a, a winter closing, as we know, in a couple of weeks' time, which I think everyone accepts as a good time. The weather might be wonderful for those two weeks. It was yeah. awful today. That's the chance you take in a British winter, isn't it? Yeah, well, I, I still think I, I'm in favour of more of playing during the summer and uh, having a longer winter shutdown, to be fair. I, I still think our best, our worst weather is normally December, 